Hi, welcome back to the Design, Creativity and Technology channel. My name is Aaron. Today's video will be a follow on from part three, where we flipped the part and applied additional tool paths to the bottom and side of the base component of the CNC mill vice stop. Now, here in the video, you'll see me placing the parallel strips into my machine vise. Notice the part will sit on top of these parallel strips. I used this strategy because the large sham from the top side of the part didn't allow for sufficient work holding and I'd run the risk of spitting the part out of the vise. Notice that I used the steel rule to align my part with the edge of the vise hard jaws. Now, I've set my G54 work offset to the back left corner of the part and my Z height was set to the top of the parallel strips. Hence, all my Z movements during the CNC cycle will always be in a positive number.
Now for the end machining operation, I set up the G54, the work offset, to the back left hand side of the part. You'll notice that I used a parallel strip held in the other vise, uh, which would give me correct part alignment each time I place the part into the vise. Well that concludes part 4 of the CNC machine mill vice stop. Make sure you come back next week and I'll show you how to cam and CNC machine the arms for our little vice stop project. I'd like to add a photo at the end of my video that highlights my trip to Las Vegas and San Francisco last year when Autodesk Australia sponsored me to attend Autodesk University and their R&D centre at P9 in San Francisco. One of the highlights of the trip was when Rod Hunt, an Australian manager, took us upstairs to look around the staff office and visit the Fusion 360 petting zoo. Now how's che how cheeky is this Autodesk worker who photobombed me? Alright guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe. See you next time. Cheers.